Hello from BI Consulting Services. So today, without further ado, we're going to do a video on custom lists inside SharePoint and how do we get that data into Power BI. So I've had a couple of folks ask for this and so I thought I would do just a quick video on it. Um, this is going to sort of be the template we use for this report. It's going to be pretty straightforward, um, but I can't take credit for this template. This comes from Power BI Tips. They have quite a few pretty awesome templates out there that you can leverage um, if you're interested. Some of them are for sale, some of them are free. Um, this will probably be the last template I use of Power BI Tips because I'm going to start to build out my own templates and then share them on my website at a cost as well. So if you guys are familiar, I have a members only section on my website where you can go out there and you can pull out all the free content that I've um, built you know, over the past year or two. Um, so you'll have that details and that data there. And I've been able to give it to you for free. So basically, if you set up an account, you're able to log in and export all that data and those dashboards and reports that have already been built. I'm sort of going to segue um, into a more of a paid approach. Uh, so you will get sort of this opportunity to grab all the members only content and the templates and sample reports for a fixed cost. So for $100, you'll be able to grab any of the reports or templates that are out there, but this will no longer be a free service. So just a heads up, the change hasn't happened yet. So if you're interested in grabbing anything that's been done so far, feel free to go out and register. I don't know the exact time frame of when I'll move it over, but I did want to give you guys a heads up as I know you're going to probably be interested in this content and other ones. So if you're watching this video, uh, go grab it as quickly as you can in hopes that you don't have to pay. But after that point, it is going to be a fee for that membership. And then you have all the content provided to you um, from that day forward on every template I build out or report, um, especially on a YouTube video. All the things I put on YouTube will be there. There will be another section, sort of like a store, for you to go ahead and purchase templates that I build out over time too. So just be on the lookout for all those things. Um, hopefully you like the content. If you need something in particular, let me know. I'm happy to do that also. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So again, SharePoint lists. So just to sort of level set what I've done here, um, if you go out, if you can see sort of from my SharePoint site, I've created a custom list by just going out here to this particular location, hitting new and just basically adding a list. Now, I'm not going to bore you guys with creating that again, um, but these are sort of the items that are in there. So if you go to this edit button, you're going to see a title, a state, uh, contact information, basically last sales price, the sales rep. So pretty basic information around this customer. And then you want to sort of grab that data. Let's say you have several people who sort of add stuff to these lists. You want to be able to grab that data and visualize it. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So I've got this same exact template here, basically in clean slate. Um, so you'll notice that there is no details here. Don't worry. Um, so with this, with all the Power BI templates, this is sort of the format that they come out in with what looks like a ton of errors. Don't worry about that. Um, once you get your visuals in, it'll automatically start populating these fields. So from here, I'm going to just go and I'm going to get data. I'm going to go to SharePoint Online Lists and hit the Connect button. Right here, it's going to look for a URL. I'm going to go ahead and grab the URL from here. So I'm basically going to go all the way to the YouTube video subset, and that's where I'm going to stop. Then I'm going to paste it in. All right, so you can see basically go all the way to the location. I don't go all the way past that to the lists. Um, I'll do that once I get um, get through this in the system. It is going to request you to sign in. Um, if you haven't signed in before, I went ahead and cleared my stuff out just for you guys to be able to see this. Um, it is going to force you to sign in. Okay, then it'll say you're currently signed in, so you're all set. From here, you're going to see sort of a handful of options. The one that you care for the most is going to be the one that's basically the title of the list you created. So this is the list I created in the system. I'm going to hit the edit button. I want to go and grab select columns. There's going to be a ton of stuff in here you just don't need. Um, so for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to basically go out here and grab the fields that I need, um, which are going to be the ones I basically created for this custom list. The only one that's sort of an oddball, oddball is this one sitting in the middle. So title, state, contact, you know, last sales price essentially. 
and then just some other details. And so I'm going to hit the Remove Other Columns. I'm going to close and apply. All right, now you got this data inside Power BI. So pretty straightforward, right? Not Nothing in here too crazy. Um, I'm going to do a couple of transformations. So I'm going to change the state to an actual state. We'll change the city to an actual city. We'll change sales price to a whole number. All right, I think we're set. So now we can go ahead and begin our visualizations. Uh, so the first one I'm going to put together is just going to be a I'm actually going to change this report just for the sake of this video to uh, the exact same map that I use for mine. So again, this is basically just showing you um, sales by state. Um, I'm going to actually make this a dollar amount too. Alright, so we're all set. So the larger the bubble, of course, the more sales you've generated in that particular area. So then I'm going to go ahead and put in same sort of details, just sales by city. All right, perfect. Now let's just say we want to look at sort of, let's say we're going to do total sales count. We'll leave it like that. We'll say total sales count. Oh, I didn't finish revenue with sales. Then we'll do average of sales. So this will show us the average sales price. And then just how many states have we serviced? All right, so that sums up that page. Pretty straightforward. Um, so we can go through and just really quick go ahead and just do the last page as well. I like to take you guys through an entire report. So pretty straightforward, same similar information. So it's going to be sort of redundant, but just gives you an idea of how you can sort of build this report out. So now we're going to look at top sales rep. Let's see who the top sales rep was. So for this, it's pretty simple too. We're going to add this. sales price and we're going to see who the top sales rep was by sales which happens to be um, Marco but if you you know you wanted to see the top two let's change this around just so you guys can sort of visually see it Oh, it's because it's on this. Don't summarize sales rep. There we go. So you can quickly see, you know, if you wanted to see the top two, clearly it's going to be Sam and Marco in this case. Um, but it's basically giving you the top sales rep. I only want to see the first, the top sales rep, the number one person who's made the most sales. Um, so it's going to be Marco in this case. So in case you were interested and you want to see who the top sales rep was. All right, let's go to ID. Let's say you want to see how many sales we've had in addition to that. So we're just going to do a count, essentially not a distinct count, just a count of all the rows. And it's going to tell us how many sales we've got. All 
And very similar to what we did with the map, we're going to go ahead and put in cells by state. And then here, let's go ahead and put in customer details. So let's say title and just total sales. Let's sum together. Let's remove some of these predefined filters. We're going to change this visual altogether. Okay, perfect. Okay, so that's basically just showing us sales um, by customer. Then let's just get some sales detail. So we're going to change the title of this one. And let's grab company name or customer name. Then let's look at sales. Let's remove those that field. We don't need it. Let's get that and that. Then we'll show account. How many sales have we had for those particular customers? And then let's see who the sales rep was. So this is basically going to give us an entire sort of overview, just sales details. So it's going to be sales and then just the sales rep. All right. Then let's look at something like historical sales. So let's make sure we have a date field in here. So we will use the created date. We'll change this to a date field. We'll actually start with date time. Now let's do date. Okay, perfect. So we use the created date for that. I think we're just going to look at sales overall, just as created. And then let's look at sales here. Here, let's go and let's make sure this is on categorical. All right, cool. And let's go ahead and change this date to something a little bit smaller so it'll all fit on one uh, line essentially. All right, perfect. So here you go. I mean, without further ado, basically, and just you know, short of I don't know how many minutes we've been doing this, but not a ton of time at all. We've got sort of an entire report built out on um, sales, all on a custom list that you've created inside of SharePoint. Uh, so you can see it's pretty straightforward and simple. So as you know, this will be out on my website. So just to get you there, www.powerbiconsultingservices.com. And if you go out there, you will be able to see free report downloads. So when you go to this page, it does require login credentials. So right now it is free to create your account and go out and grab this data and details. Um, I will put this one out there. It'll probably be a little bit after you've watched the video. So be on the lookout, but nevertheless, get to it early uh, because we are going to sort of shift to that paid um, process starting very, very soon. Um, in the meantime, there is a contact us section here. If you have any questions or need help, feel free to reach out to us. We're happy to help. Um, and again, thank you for taking the time to watch this video.